How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you guys Wisdom Wednesday with the Quad Father. What's going on, man? Hey, what is up, Warriors? It's the Quad Father here. I'm glad to be back with you on Wisdom Wednesday after Tan Kid was uh, subbing oh, in yeah. for me. He, he did well last week. It was a really good commentary. I'll link it down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Thank, but thanks, week, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. We do have a, 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 a few new questions for you guys. So you guys ready for this, Quad Father? I am so ready. I'm so ready. All right. So the first one says, hey, Quad and Quad father i've got a problem my parents don't really trust me one time they caught me watching porn and now they've taken away all my electronics iphone computer and everything how do i get them to trust me again so i can get my stuff back wow that's a, that's a tough one that's an easy easy thing to lose right you you have mm -hmm. the privileges and you break the rules you're gonna you're gonna lose you're gonna have a consequence i first of all I'm, did they take it away forever that's the problem i would well, have of course I, I would not think they took it away forever no parents right. say you don't get your laptop back forever <laughs> forever forever you're not grounded you just okay, don't so, get it it's gone so he doesn't know how long and we, and we assume he's gonna get it back i'm soon. guessing he's under 15 you think because okay is, is not porn many, okay after 15 is that yeah oh okay. are you after serious <laughs> yes <laughs> is, uh, okay i didn't know that was a rule it's not a rule i'm just oh, saying okay. that's that's my assumption why okay. is it really that bad i mean disregarding religion is it really that bad uh you know it one thing it does if is it's it obvious it desensitizes you whatever but now in this day and age if you're not everywhere. desensitized to porn or just overall nudity. nudity in general right I don't know what social media you're, you're on, yeah. man. Well, okay, so so this guy's looking for a solution. So what he wants to do is make a solution that actually will help his parents believe that he can be trusted. Uh, so you he got could, there are there are apps you can have like you know Net Nanny. Yeah, and that shit's AIDS, man. Yeah, well, I know you don't <laughs> like it. I'm suggesting this to him so he can get <laughs> his so he can get his equipment back. Yeah, yeah. You know, because because yeah, guys guys are going to be guys and they're always going to want to look at naked women. There's of course, just, there's just no way around that. God made naked women for a reason. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah there's a reason we find them attractive. <laughs> I, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. Because we are they're attractive. built for that. <laughs> there you go. And they're built for that. So. Yeah, women are built for rape. No, 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 no I, that's what? a quote from Woody's Gamer Tag. Okay, I'm well, not being serious. It's a bad. That's quote. just what he says. Horrible quote. He got roasted for months. Oh, I don't support it at all. So, <laughs> I disavow that comment. I do. Okay. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you don't stand behind that women are for rape. <laughs> Obviously <laughs> not. Okay. So, not. how do we help this guy get he his needs, stuff back? He needs to get apps. He needs to get. He needs to tell parents. All right, you can put whatever controls and blocks you want on it. Uh, but eventually, you know, they're going to have to learn to trust him. Yeah. But I know a lot of parents have this 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 problem with kids. They, the the internet is a great surprise to them. They have no idea what to do with it, and they don't know. How oh, to a keep lot their of parents don't know what to do. But right. what I think he should actually do to get it back, it's going to mm -hmm. take a little bit of time. I think uh, showing them like once they give it to you back in a month, a few weeks, whatever it is, that you don't get in trouble like i mean hide your porn better man or yeah something, well something that's like what i that. mean that's the, what he the, says too the but. incognito tab yeah don't exactly. use that. <laughs> don't have short history on your your yeah, history there you go. i mean just you know or just i mean if they're checking your laptop every day don't use your laptop oh go, okay wait 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 are we helping him get it back or are we helping him uh deceive his parents once he gets it back he's gonna watch it anyway all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Well, we're, we're trying to help him get it back. Yeah, right. okay. We're, trying so to help we're just him trying to help him get it back. So that's all the Happy all Humper the Dink Day. Yeah, Happy Humper Dink Day. Uh, that's all the advice we have for you guys. But before the next question, make sure to go to the About section of my channel, youtube.com slash quadmft. Click About, then click Send a Message, and then you'll be able to send a message into Wisdom Wednesday. They're all anonymous, and you guys get to be featured on Wisdom Wednesday, so it's a pretty cool thing. All right. You ready for the next one? I am. It says, Quad MFT, I love your vids. I always look forward to your next video. Thank you, man. Uh, he says, I need your help. Some guys at school, at school are calling me gay and fag, and it really bothers, bothers me. I'm not, but they won't stop saying, what do I do? All right. I think what he should do is show him his history on his on his phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Look, yeah, exactly. I, I check I'm not gay. Chicks. I'm not gay. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> even if you were gay and they're still calling you gay and fag. Well, yeah. But that, he's not. It's only it's only funny to call someone gay or fag when they're not. Yeah, of course. You I know, mean, when, when somebody's gay and you keep calling them gay, it's like, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, obviously <laughs> okay. they're going to take offense to it originally, but still, it's like, you, yeah, I guess I'm gay. You hetero. Yeah, you, it's, well, not it's not funny. Not the same. It's still no, the but same. it's right. It, but it's not funny if you call somebody something that they are. Yeah, you know, if you call someone stupid and they're stupid, that's just mean. <laughs> if you yeah, call I mean, someone Down stupid. syndrome when they're Down syndrome, that's mean, <laughs> right? I mean, that's that's not nice. Yeah, but if I, you know, do it, I know. Okay, so how does he get him to do it? Well, my first question is, uh, how close is he? Because if 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 you had a friend who you were always calling a nickname, whatever just say, it is, when they call you gay or fag, I mean, uh, you always go for the thing like, yeah, yeah. So you want to want a tongue kiss right now? I'm, I'm looking pretty hot to you right mm -hmm. now, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, keep your <laughs> eyes off my 
my butt. You know, See, I, know I know you're checking me out. <laughs> that takes a lot of courage. That's hard to do. And yeah, that's like that's that's just you a, go. I yeah, you're right. I always go with it. Yeah, yeah that's hard. What to do you do. want a sloppy kiss? Is exactly. that what you're going? Nah, no, that's I, AIDS. Yeah, no, that's hard to do. Uh, that's a good tactic if you can get it down. But to yeah. get people to stop calling you gay and fag, uh, don't be gay. No, no, I'm no, no, he's, no he's I think gay. I think one of the things like any bully is you got to give it no power. Ignoring them. Yeah, that's you, you one gotta, way. I mean, it don't just be like, don't just like look away sourly and be like, mm, whatever, you, whatever, man, I'm not gay. Just yeah. like, I'm not gay. Stop it. Yeah. I'm not gay. It's <laughs> so Obviously, you never want to respond like that. You will no. never get anything out of responding like that. No. Okay, so so the, assuming that he's not gay, mm -hmm. is there? I mean, okay, and and assuming that these are these are friends. I mean, because if yeah. they're if they're if they're enemies or people who he aren't isn't close to, there's not much you can do other than not react. Yeah. Right. Okay. So if they're somewhat close or they're friends, I mean, if you had a friend who was who who you were calling a nickname and they're like, dude, I really, you know, you get they get you alone, they go, dude, I really. You know, call me something else, whatever we want to do. Call me what you want, but you can't call me broke. Money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so no, if he. Um, if he actually says, "I, you know, it bothers me," would you stop if you knew something that actually bothered him? Yeah, but I mean, just don't give him any power. That's really there's not much more to That's it. That's the bully thing. That's it. Or you can go along with it, like the quad father. It takes a lot of balls, but I, I, mean, I heard that only it. twenty to thirty percent of kids who are bullied actually tell somebody that they're being bullied. Yeah. So you know, it, it mean, takes a lot of courage to say it. Yeah, and I, I think most people do get bullied in some way or another. Oh, yeah, for sure. You it's know, something teased. most people have been through. So yeah. that's the advice we can give you. You ready give for the him, third give him a and kiss. final? Give him a kiss is that's my, a my horrible seat. decision. Oh, okay. You ready for the third and final? <laughs> you bet. You bet. Let's go. All right, Quad MFT and Quad Father. I know this doesn't fit your usual questions for Wisdom Wednesday, but I hope you use it. Looks okay. like we are. Yeah. Uh, you've been to a lot of events and met a lot of famous YouTubers. When you talked to them, you didn't look very nervous at all. How do you stay calm and what is the best part of going to PAX and MLG? Uh, mm. The coolest thing about going to PAX and MLG is what I want to address first. It's really mm -hmm. cool seeing all of the all the figures and faces and people you see on Twitter and YouTube actually in, in real, real life, life and yeah. hanging out with them and having a good time and watching professional Call of Duty, hanging out, going to dinner. It's a good time going to these events. That's what I love about it is meeting everybody and spending time with friends and YouTubers that you collaborate with and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about it. Is seeing yeah, the trip people. part is fun too. Just traveling is yeah, is traveling, just traveling is a good places. time. Yeah. It's a really Seeing good time going things. to different cities, L.A., Seattle, Boston, places like that. It's really fun. Yeah. Uh, have you seen the Space Needle since you've been to Seattle twice? I have not. Oh, how do you go to Seattle twice and not see the I, Space Needle? I get Needle? too focused on packs. You only have eyes for games. Yeah, for real. So uh, how do I not look nervous? Uh, the truth is I'm not. <laughs> I, You're I, really not nervous? Mm, not really. I mean, I kind of get nervous. Even when and I'm like, just I've interviewed the people like KY or Speedy and all these big YouTubers with 10 million subscribers. Sky does Minecraft. Right. I, I just am not. I'm so used to it. I guess. I mean, like I, I treat them more as like my like coworker friends. Yeah, like I mean, kind of like a peer. That's kind of what they are. But I mean, obviously, I don't have 10 million subscribers or anywhere right. close to that. But right. It's still, I guess that's it's kind of like I see it. It's it's way different than seeing it from like a fan's point of view. Yeah, I guess I guess it's like if you're an actor and you have a really small part in a movie, mm -hmm. and you're doing a movie with. You know, someone famous, Tom Hanks, Johnny or Depp, or Johnny whatever. Depp, yeah, or whatever. You would walk up to him and you say, "Hey, man, I enjoy your work. It's 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 nice to meet you." You wouldn't be like, "Oh, can I get a picture? Can yeah, I get a no, selfie? No, Will like you that. sign my shirt?" Yeah, yeah I, I treat so. them like a peer because I mean, that's in reality what they are, and that's how it's going to go down. So, if you're a YouTuber and you want to treat them like that, I think that's just what you got to do. Treat them like a peer. Don't freak out. Obviously, I never do that. Yeah. But if you're a fan, you have all the right to freak out. <laughs> Yeah, and you, and you know what? what we've seen, we've seen, we've been talking to guys who are famous, and you know, just having a regular conversation. A fan comes up, they want to take a selfie, they want them to sign something, and they get all they get all excited. Yeah, and and the after they leave, the the YouTubers like that was kind of cool. Yeah, you know, it's, so it's it's cool meeting fans. You know, I I met a few fans at MLG Anaheim, which was really cool. I like taking pictures with you guys. Anytime you see me at an event or anywhere, please come up and talk to me. I'd love to follow you on Twitter and take a picture with yeah. you or something Does that like go that. for me? Can we take a selfie right yeah, now? Yeah, right now. Let's do it. But right. uh, you guys will be seeing this <laughs> on Twitter pretty soon. You bet. And on YouTube right now. So don't forget to drop like. If we could try and hit 300 likes on this video, that would be awesome for Wisdom Wednesday. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Quad Squad. It means a lot to me when you guys do subscribe. We're closing in on 50,000 subscribers for Ooh. the Quad Mother Dual Commentary. Oh, yeah. It's been Quad MFT and I'm Addy 5000. And I will see you at PAX East.